everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we uh, played around at night at Windfall Island, and we saved the little girl from stealing and completely destroying her own life. And uh, we also did the auction house stuff, and it was great. Ooh, so we can switch to our fast sale. Oh, that's so interestingly cool. So apparently the sale is twice as fast as a normal sale. Which to be fair, I don't know if I like that or not, you guys. It just seems to kind of break the game. I guess we're gonna go Oh, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> I wanted to go north. But that's okay because we have the freaking fast sale now, apparently. Um I don't I really don't know how I feel about this. This feels too it just feels too fast. It takes away the fa but I guess it is better for a let's play. Whoa! What is that? Okay, honestly, at first I thought this white building here on the left, this building, oh, the bomb shop right here. I thought that was the freaking pirate ship for a second. And I was like, holy crap, are they back for some reason? Did they add some kind of weird side quest in this game? But no, they did not. All right, oop, that's not what I to do. Uh, we want to go more than that. Oh, it's probably that island right there. Uh, oh, you can see the light on in the, uh, the, 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 the famous person's house there, the famous person, the rich guy's house. Let's see what this bottle says. What does that even say? Cool 991. Awesome. Fantastic. Good job, guy. <laughs> Alright, let's go towards this island and see what's going on. Progress the plot. Yeah, I guess this sale is, uh, as much as I don't even really want to see it. Uh, maybe the sale is better just, just for the whole let's playing fact of it all. Oh no. Right over oh, man. Maybe a bit more. There we go. We do need to start concentrating and getting more rupees here because we're going to need a lot more of them to beat this game. I'm kind of surprised our, our wallet is a little bit low here. I'm actually really surprised about that. That's not something that normally happens to me. I don't have too much rupees to even know what I want to do with them. Purple rupee! But you know what? That actually probably won't even be a problem once we start using the treasure charts and collecting them all. Collect all the things. Oh, you know what? This is... Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I, I hate that there's no quick button to go to the bottles. Six eye reef. Awesome. Maybe that's a whirlwind to behind the boat there. Like holding a map in the boat. That's amazing. I love that. I want to yeah that. I want to leave it a positive Yelp review. All right. Fishy. There he is. There's the fishy. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Uh, interesting stuff going on on this island. Let's do that. Wait for him to get a bit closer so I don't waste our bait. And there we go. Come on, Mr. Fishy. What do you got to say? Yeah. Hoi, smart fry. I got a little bit ahead of myself there. Yeah, so, in the last episode, we actually talked to, there was a guy in the cafe that talked about he saw a scary fish with human-like quantities, this is Gale Island. And this is the guy he was talking about, and apparently he's terrified of him. Are you thinking you want to get into that cave, Smafra? The one with the protected by the crazy winds of this island? <laughs> okay then, let me uh, tell you a little secret. If you go five squares south and one square east of here, you'll reach a ice ring isle, where you'll find an item that will make you as heavy as stone. Five squares south and one square east. When you get that item, you won't have to worry about getting blown over by winds. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some bait. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Let's get into that cave. Do, is that what we want to do? Do you want to get into the cave? Oh, look, there's rupees all over this island. I mean, up there. You see them? Yeah. Holy crap, this place is crazy. What? Holy crap, what is this? Oh, look, it's the bottle. I wish we could sneak around. That is insane! And really crazy? Wow. What happens if you- Ugh! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, I love that so much! It looks so cool! Alright, let's see what we got for bottles here. Just out and <laughs> sailing. Enjoy the great weather. Enjoy the great weather. Pass it on. Oops. From outside islands. Oh, that's cool. We're gonna save that. How do, I, how do you even get pictures like that? I mean, that looks like the guy actually took it. Um. Yeah. Go. Bam! Oh, that just gives us that. Well, then. 
Oh, I seriously love how this is like pushing the trees over like that. That's so cool. Uh, can you do anything about this? Oh no! No 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 no! Oh, I can't get up there. That's too powerful. <sighs> so what? Uh, what do you say? Five squares south and one east. Uh, first off, let's get rid of that square. One, two, three, four, five, and one east. So it's two squares east, or two squares south of the gods' tower. That's Tower of the Gods. I thought that sounded weird. Okay, so I gotta remember that. Alright, you have any comment on this boat? The temples where the city. Okay. It cannot be entered easily. It is times where this, where one would be wise to gather information on those who live in the seas nearby. I don't know what that really means, to be fair. Um, let's try going to the other one. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, you know what? The ones in the seas that live nearby. I gotcha. He must be talking about uh, the fishmen. I was like trying to think, like, is he talking about because Windfall Island's right over there? Oh, I think it was a fair island over there. Oh, that would have been nice to go to. That's what I actually wanted to do before tackling on the next temples. See a nice little constellation up there. Oh, I'm so happy we got these teleporting powers now. Because everything's so much easier. Ooh, I'm almost tempted to go to Outside Island, but we don't have much of a need to do that. Oh, however, what we will do is first off, use my sail that I apparently hate so much, even though I'm already starting to use a crazy amount of it. Oh, maybe we should go to Outside Island, even if it's just to get um, Grandma Soup. Eh. Is that good? Even though we have the square of this island, we're still gonna talk to the fishman because he is, I am counting him on my charts there. Give bait to everybody. And it's weird that this happens because Outside Island's already on my sea charts. Even though it pretends it's not- I think that must be a glitch, right? That has to be a glitch of some sort. That's really weird, but okay. I heard that the, uh, the beneath the big-headed boulder on top of the hill on here on outset is where the greatest treasure of all, the golden triumph forks, are buried. But actually, Fry, I must might have misheard that somewhere, because one guy told me there was actually uh, buried beneath a weird rock, some shard of something called the Triforce. Who ever heard of that? That's crazy. There was a big difference between triumph forks and Triforce. I mean, I think someone intentionally buried something misleading there. That's all the info I've got. Yeah, it's got to be a glitch where, um, whoa, oh crap, that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> I, I don't know, that's weird to me, but anyways, I'm not going slow all of a sudden. Interesting. All right, let's go see Grammy and get myself some more soup. There's, oh, dang it. There's actually, um, more stuff I could do on outside islands. Mostly with the pig over there, the pigu, but we're not going to deal with that for now. I guess we could if we really want to, but like I said, like I promised, I did want to make some progress in the plot here, so we gotta do just that. Grim oh, it's not sad music anymore. So happy. Link, Link, are you hungry? Or would you like some grandma to fill your bottle with soup? Yes, please. You're such a well-mannered boy. Here you go. There we go. And that's hopefully we won't mess it up this time. Dang it. Okay, yes. Two helpings. Great. You and your sister love my soup, don't you? If you run out, come back for and see me. I can make it whenever you like. I'm not going to even tell her that sister's safe and she's on the pirate ship. Well, I guess that would probably scare her grandma as well. Yeah, it's okay. My sister's on the ship of pirates. Then again, I mean, those pirates were also the same ones that took me. But it's also, I mean, according to everyone in the game, the pirates' fault that this even happened to my sister. So, you know, who, fig who go figure. <laughs> who figures? All right, let's go. Let's see here. All right, so we went to the the, the the Gale Island to the north here. Let's try going to this island to the east. All right, so apparently we want to go this way, yes. Uh, I should probably get that shiny spot, but I'm not going to. Ha-ha! <laughs> no, that's going to. You know what? Just because I haven't done this yet, let's see what happens when I go south. And also, I wonder if we can go talk to Jabun. Jaboon, I think is actually how you pronounce it. Do -do -do -do. How far is he going to let me go? Hey. Too dangerous to go any farther in this direction. We must turn back. And then it automatically turns you back. Yeah, so that's what happens when you try to leave the map. <laughs> so yeah, there's no instant teleporting across the map, across the world, when you get to one edge of it. At least it kind of, you know... I don't understand. It's weird how you go slower in your islands, but okay. 
Can we talk to Jaboon in here? Or is he just gonna stay hidden? Apparently not. Jaboon! I got some bait for you, buddy! Okay, goodbye! <laughs> I, I hope you don't starve in here. My freaking phone email this one. How often do I get an email? Freaking never! Why would you go off phone? Phone! Alright. Uh, I believe that's the only one we want to go to over there, correct? Indubitably. Mm, yeah, indubitably. Take a nice sip of my refreshing beverage. My unnamed beverage. Okay, it's a rock. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, so. I guess this makes sailing a bit more bearable when I use this sail. Uh, I mean, if you got an upgrade, you might as well use it, right? I'm just looking for excuses to use this stupid thing. But uh, it kind of oversees the whole cool aspect. Oh, I see Mr. Fish Guy. Of, like, you know, typical sailing in this game. So I'm not too sure if I really like it or not. BAM! Alright, what do you guys say about this on? However, it will make traversing every single square in this game a lot more easier. Hi, smart fry! Yeah, yeah, I'm opening up my C chart for you. I'm opening up my heart to you. What you gotta say? When you think it's gay? Headstone Island. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say- Saying like the G word on any like YouTube related thing is always a terrible thing. Uh, it just causes tr controversy. Smart fries, a real heavy stone head blocking the cave on this island. Don't you wonder what's behind it? Don't you want to get in there? Hey, hey, let me tell you. Great secret. If you go north four squares and east three squares to Fire Mountain, you'll find an item that gives you the strength to easily lift anything, no matter how heavy it is. That thing, you can lift that stone and toss it all your way as if it was light as a feather. It's a lame info I've got to offer. What do you say? Ah, oh, dang it. Four squares north. One, two, three, four, four squares east. One, two, three. Dang it. Let's try that again. All right. Ah, oh, the sensitivity is driving me crazy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Dang, it's actually this. Maybe we said three. It's Fire Mountain is what he's talking about. <laughs> Thankfully, that was on my treasure chart, so I knew exactly where to go for that one. Um, Was there rupees on this one, too? Apparently. I, get, uh, I was gonna say, should I get the heart piece here? There's actually a heart piece I could probably have access to right now. We'll leave that till I actually come to this temple, I guess. Hey, look at the little grabbies! Aww. Well, at least there's no violent, gusty wind on this island. Ooh, however, a little cool thing. Yay! Oh, you know, I just have another thing we can do on outside islands. We gotta, now that we have 10 Knight's Crests, we can actually upgrade our sword. Yeah, I don't think there's anything besides like one rupee. Actually, there might be a spot where you get like 10 rupees or some crap. Is it like over here? I remember just doing stuff around this island, just trying to look for treasure. I almost feel like someone says this to you that there's hidden treasure on the grounds. But I mean, it's all one rupee. I don't even know how I found this out, to be honest. Maybe I was trying to like slash at the at the crabs and I found out. That's probably well, most likely what happened. Great, a giant stone head. We've seen this before, actually. Whoa, hello? With the power you have now, you can neither lift nor destroy that stone. And yet, somewhere on the sea, the power to do so lies waiting to find it. You must seek it out. Interesting. Very interesting, indubitably. Alrighty then. Let's jump on here and not get hit. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Alright, can I just save Hyrule? Wait. Okay. Can I just save Hyrule another. or tomorrow? I'm too tired today. So many sads. Yeah, I'm sure, Quincy from Windfall Island. Bra Brayden from Cliff Plateau Isle says, What are you doing here? Here, another one that I forgot your name. Oh, Korok. Just said Korok. <laughs> Maybe I forgot the name of Korok as well. So, I think we could actually instantly teleport to. Oh, we can instantly teleport to Fire Mountain. However, Dragon Roost Island is pretty close. Let's go there. Let's set sail to Fire Mountain. I mean, it's called Fire Mountain. We've seen it before. So I'm a bit skeptical of what we'll be able to do there. However, actually, I think the fish... Ooh, is there a rupee up there? Man, there's so much for us to do. We gotta come here and there's some side quests for us to do here as well. Whoa! Huh. I already know how to get up there. Oh, that's another thing I'll have to remember. Alright, we talked to the fish here. Oops. We need to go south. I guess this is where our compass would help quite a bit. Okay, is the red part of the compass? 
the, the one that points north? Yeah, okay, it is. No, it's... Yeah, it's the red one I'm looking for here. Alright. Fire Melon, I believe, is going to be this one. Alright, bye, Dragon to this island. Goodbye! I might talk to the fish here one more time just because he might give a hint as to what we need to do next. Even though I've talked to him before, but it's still pretty hard. <laughs> like how the fire and stuff just loads in. Okay, I don't see how in the balls we're ever going to get onto the island. Do you have any advice, Mr. Fish? Uh, where's our bait? Once again, we have talked to him before, but just for the sake of him helping us out here or telling us what to do, we're going to listen to his advice one more time. Whoa, that slow down. Boy, it's not fry. Oh, give me a break. What do you use the same bait all the time? Don't you make premium brand of this stuff? Oh, well, such a such is the life of a fish. So, do you want to hear the info about this island again? See that volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well, this is a great treasure hidden inside that thing. Thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside have been blasted away by great balls of fire. If you want to get inside, you have to go one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the power to freeze anything is hidden. So they say. That might not be true. Okay. Huh. Hey, what's that? Why, small fry? It's a fine looking boat, boat you got there. Where'd you get that? If you're not in a hurry, why don't you stop and play with me a bit? Uh, okay. Woohoo! Woohoo! Of course you will, fry! To be honest, you'll be helping me out. See, I've got these having me. These, see, I've been having these ferocious body aches, and the only acupuncture can cure. Check it out. I'll give you ten arrows for that bow of yours, and one. And I want you to aim those suckers at me when I leap out of the water. See if you can. See if you can pay me with them. Which arrow you nail me with? I'll give you ten rupees, and if you hit me t all ten times, I'll give you two hundred rupees. What? You worried about little old me, Fry? Ha! Don't be. I'm a fish man. I'm a mad fish. <laughs> I've spent my life being toughened up by the seas rougher than you've ever seen. Those arrows of yours ain't got nothing on me. So get ready, small fry. Okay, before I start this, I'm going to plug in my gamepad. Because I kind of feel like aiming with that will be a heck of a lot easier than using my controller. One second. Alright, I'm back. This might be awkward. Oh, I can't even use it. Oh, no. I don't think I can do it. No, it's not letting me. That sucks. All right, here we go. Uh, there we go. That's one shot down. I guess just take it easy with your shots. Where is he going to land? Oh, I probably could have made that. I want to play it safe here, though. All right, where are you going to land, Mr. Dude? Yeah. Oh, jeez. He makes, like, sounds of agony there, but apparently he likes it. Yeah. Oh, I gotta be quiet for when he makes the next sound, so I can let you guys listen to it. It's horrifying! Dang it, I missed. Well, that sucked. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> Reminds me of the crack kid vine. Am I seriously gonna hit him with all but one? Nope, okay, at least I missed another one, so I know it wasn't too terrible. So yeah, this is like a little money-making video game, video game, a little uh, money-making mini-game you could play. Oh, that's all 10 already? Alright, so I missed him twice. <laughs> the arrow stayed him? That's awesome. What's the deal, Fry? I can only hit me... Wait, what? Six times? Oh, did he give me a time limit? I think it might have been a time limit. Oh, well, what's a man fish should do? Oh, I see. He only hops out of the sea 10 times. He's just 60 rupees. Go on, take him. Go on again. Just scatter more bait for me, okay? And with that, I'm off. So, I already forget how many squares north in, well, here, let's take a look here. Where is he right now? All right, so, one square north and one, two, three, four squares west, Mother and Child Island. In the next episode, we'll teleport to Mother and Child Island. Uh, yay! <laughs> let's go get that other one as well. And then we'll see if we can maybe, see if we can upgrade or a power or whatever. Uh, so yeah, till next time from Tingle Island, Squiggle Squiggle, from Akbar, for, and from Josh from the Force Haven, having a great time. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so the next one, we'll teleport to Mother and Child Island and see what they have for us over there. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.